was obscuring our vision of simply being in the presence, of simply being in this natural state of ourselves because of the story that the mind's got. So it was like, okay, this is going to give me a chance because I have this person under my care from three months to five months. And so it was very excited to see, okay, what, what kind of results am I going to get out of this? Another thing was that we do workshops for two days or three days, or I've done retreats in, in uh, different kind of parts of the world, but is a time limitation to it. And the longest retreat we did was in uh, uh, Sweden, which was 11 days. But having someone under my care from three to five or six months is a different story. That was something I've never done. I had done something similar to it, but it wasn't like this. So that's how I uh, and why I created the life training program and it's been extremely successful so far thank God uh, thank you to my participants and existence that has provided this and makes it possible did I answer yeah. your question yeah yeah no I was, I was really curious about it and um, I know you mentioned that you had like a limited number and uh, we can talk about this later but do you still have any open I, I still yeah my intention was that I will open this platform for this season because I have some of my uh, other students that I'm still working with and uh, and it was like okay how many people can I really handle comfortably at it and it's like okay I can deal with six people I can work with six people and give them attention and uh, four people have signed up so I have room for two more people maybe I can push it to one more but that's it with respect of the other people who are finishing their program at this point that's as much as I can handle maybe one I, I can take, I can take, I can comfortably admit two more people right now. So, and then I can handle that. So, uh, but we can talk if you like afterwards. And then I'm, I'll make an appointment and we talk about it. And then I'll let you know how it works and what we're doing, what's expected, what you can expect from me, and uh, what sort of practices you're going to be doing and so on. It's fun. I try to make it fun and be flexible with it so it's not regimented and uh, because I like to have fun myself so <laughs> and be playful about things. So do you, do you have any requirements for, for if you're signing up? Do you have any requirements that you think that we should be prepared for to sign up for this? No because we do we do talk about what is it that you want to accomplish basically and you know different people have different different uh, goals uh, sometimes people have physical issues or it's uh, but majority of people I encounter they're looking for freedom I mean it's possible someone comes to me and says okay I want to find my my soulmate or and that's my main goal but uh, it doesn't matter whatever is the main goal is because the principle of it is the same so I would make adjustments for them uh, but I don't always work with this with people the same way some people may need to go Maybe I do have to do some hypnotherapy and go back into the early stages of their birth. Maybe I have to take him to a past life. Uh, maybe we have to deal with some traumas. They've been raped or beaten up or abandoned. So I need to clear that part up first before I can introduce them to a higher level of consciousness. Somebody's 
very advanced and they don't need those things. And then boom, we can get into the more advanced areas. Uh, somebody may have a very busy mind, so I have to spend quite a bit of time to really mellow down the mind because there are times that people want to get it with their mind. They want to understand and there's a lot of mindy questions about the nature of existence, about God. So where do we go after we get enlightened? Or where do we go after this life? So the mind is asking a lot of questions. But the mind can't understand these things. So I have to work with them to really quiet their mind. And then the gateway opens up. So it requires skill and mastery because not everybody's needs are the same. So, and then I, there's, there's a lot. It's, it is, it, 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 it is uh, interesting, it's wonderful. It's a process that I enjoy, that I really love to, to the transformation that I'm observing happening to the person. And I get a lot of joy out of it. And, you know, sometimes physically I get tired, but there's rewards in it, definitely. And the rewards is not monetary, it's not financial. The, the seeing someone liberating is, that rewards is beyond anything. Priceless. Priceless. It's absolutely priceless. All right. Did I answer all of your questions? Yeah, thank you. Appreciate it. Thank you. Yeah, it is definitely my signature program. And it's, it's like deadly. I mean, it hits the point. So uh, if you can afford it, you can commit yourself to it. Uh, this is the time. That's definitely the time. Because I don't know if I'm going to be around next year or if I can offer it next year. Who knows what's going to happen next year? Who knows what's going to happen tomorrow? I don't know about that. But it's happening right now and, and the gate, gateway has opened up. So if you can dance with me, come on in. We'll go for a ride together. Um, a couple other announcements is that we do have... Um, a shamanic healing circle that's it's a two-hour event we've done it a few times before it's online uh, it's powerful those who've done it they feel it they know its power uh, followed by a three-day workshop which is the uh, self-awakening mastery workshop and that in this this particular workshop I've designed it in a way to give you the tools that how you can very quickly raise your vibrations to a higher frequency and the know-how of how you can separate yourself from the mind, the emotions, and the body and become a complete observer of it. So you're not connected to and or identified, that's a better word to say, to all these fear, worry, anxiety, these emotional ups and downs that A, is being provided by the media and we're bombarded by the society. Uh, B, is to find this place within ourselves of, so it becomes the focal point of our attention which sometimes, or a lot of times, just words and pointing out to that place is not enough. We need other tools to be able to get to that place. But of course, like anything in life, you have to uh, apply them to your daily life. You, have, you need to do the work. I can show you the know-how, but you're the one who's going to have to do the work. In addition to that, uh, the last thing, I mean, it reminds me, don't forget, where's, thank you very much for your generous donations. 
uh, really appreciate it. It's very kind of you. I thank you for that. We are a small venture, and uh, this retreat uh, comes from the bottom of my heart, and we decided to make it a free retreat. And also, if you feel like donating, there's a donation box on my website, and, and if you want to help, go ahead and donate. We appreciate it. Other than that, my email is info at zaratustra.tv and feel free to write to us and my website is zaratustra.tv and all of our pages uh, YouTube, Facebook, Twitter and uh, podcast uh, Instagram and podcast is zaratustra 5d that's my address We continuously uh, upload our podcasts with new broadcasts as well as uh, upload new videos on YouTube. So if you haven't subscribed, go ahead and subscribe. If you feel like sharing your feelings, your thoughts about this retreat, you're welcome to. Uh, send me an email and that way we can connect so people used to write to me on my uh, fifth dimensional quantum awareness page on Facebook and uh, we uh, have an automatic response uh, responser to that to direct them to write an email to us because it got to a point it was very difficult to manage everything and I couldn't we couldn't get back to uh, our audience so email is one of the best ways to contact me many blessings to all of you all over the world thank you for being with me and your support and your love I hear it I feel it um, I do read all of the emails. I do get the messages on Facebook. I try to check everything out as much as I can. And sometimes I may not respond right away, but I try to get back to you. So I appreciate your support. Sending you my love. Stay in your heart. Stay in your center. Know that all is well. All is well in the center of yourself, in the present moment of the being. There's nothing absolutely wrong. Whatever is happening in the world is the will of God. All of it is exactly the way it needs to be. We just need to stay in our own center and just remain the observer of what appears and what disappears. If you simply keep your attention on this point and be quiet, you will see yourself that you are free from this cycle of life and death and the drama of life. Don't ever Betray your commi commitment to love. Never. You carry the torch of love by being born on this planet. Love is your power. Love is your true nature. And sometimes it's difficult to be in that place because the busy mind obscure your connection and your knowing. So it clouds your judgment. But in the absence of the busy mind, when the mind becomes silent, true love appears. And that's your power. And the more you become aware of it and you dive into your true nature, which is love, the less fear rules. And you live a happy and vibrant life.
as well as your true purpose will reveal itself to you. You will find your way and your mission on this planet. Uh, why you're here and what is it you need to do. Everything will reveal itself. Once you're present, you're here, and you're not operating from the mind, everything else will show itself to you. Love you. Thank you for joining me. And I look forward to seeing you on Wednesday. Namaste.